Guys, what is going on? I've got a special treat here today for everybody. Uh, we have had the absolute pleasure of uh, being introduced into a scrim here. And uh, let's take a look at the war coverage here going on as the attacks are flying out across the board as we speak here. Um, we've got the good, solid, uh, fair play community here together uh, to bring a good old classic shirts versus skins match here. And um, and we got in some awesome clans here, guys. This is, uh, I believe, uh, 14 of our own here from OTB. Uh, we got Team WBT, we got SV, and we have Halo uh, combined together to make a, uh, a four-clan inter-scrimmage here. And um, these guys have some absolutely awesome and epic attacks here that I cannot wait to showcase here. So this is episode one out of two. I want to get uh, I want to do the first war night here because we've already seen some awesome attacks. Um, we got a pretty decent uh, war here going in between, and um, just some awesome attacks overall. And uh, let's get started here so we can showcase as many people as we possibly can. Uh, we're going to start out doing five from each team, and then uh, maybe tomorrow night we'll do five more uh, or more. Maybe we can put something cool together here, guys. So um, here we go. First up, we are looking at, uh, we're going to do the skins attacks here first. And uh, we're going to take a look at number six. Now, as we continue through this here, I'm just going to try and cover as much as I can. Uh, we're going to have some fun doing this. So uh, we're looking at a decent little comp right here. Um, bringing the Goho uh, strong here on the right side starting out. Um, nice uh, nice wide kill squad, enough breakers to, uh, to go to war right there. As they bust in that second golem coming in here as well. And uh, they're going to start out nice and slow. He's going to take that quadrant of the base here uh, one step at a time. As the CC has been pulled, um, just a couple wizards in there to help with the cleanup and uh, and to get in with the uh, the pathing and everything. Um, so here as the kill squad moves in a little bit deeper, they're going to take out um, all those fun uh, clan castle troops there. And uh, hopefully be able to trigger that bomb too is the, uh, is the extent of, uh, of what we're hoping for here. And um, so he's moving in. Golems are really healthy at this point. Uh, they do have a ways to go to be able to get to that queen efficiently. Of course, the king picks it up uh, as he starts uh, a couple loons there down bottom. Gets uh, one hog in on that mortar, which is really smart, very conservative. Um, the goods are going down right here now, so it's time to bring in the hogs as he's coming in from the bottom. Um, a well-placed heal right there over that splash damage that's coming in. Uh, Queen takes a little bit of a walk around the outside, but that's okay. At this point, she's not needed anymore um, through the middle. And the hogs are just kind of being surgically deployed, um, still kind of keeping them in a group together, um, but just kind of moving everything along very nicely and uh, nice and slow right there. That, uh, that final bomb explodes uh, under the heel, uh, which is no pressure at all as those last defenses go down. It is cleanup time here. Uh, we've got to appreciate an attack like this on on a max base, and uh, um, you know that's that's a really nice TH9, and uh, you know, and we're working with uh, um, you know level 21, 25 heroes. He's doing just fine, you know. Um, it can be done. A kill squad like that was brilliant. Now that's a stone goho, uh, by the way. So you know you're bringing those three golems because you're expecting to make it far. Um, so that that's the plan right there. We're going to jump up to number 12 here. We've got a really fun little uh, queen walk here on uh, number 12 coming in from Desau. And uh, a really, really nice guy here as we had the opportunity to talk to some of these guys here on prep day and uh, in previous wars and things like that too that we've had with them. And um, so you got to be able to appreciate these guys and uh, know that they're bringing some of the best attacks that, uh, that this game has seen here in war. So uh, much love there for those gentlemen. Um, here we go. So we're starting the good, the good queen walk here. Uh, bottom easy pathing. Just use some minions to get there. Um, no question as far as uh, which way the queen's gonna go. Um, the expo does pick up on the queen right here as expected, but he's got plenty of tank ability, and he did break in right there, uh, which was a smart call. He wants to be able to get in there and do that damage, and also be able to uh, help with the pathing here, uh, knowing that he's gonna be taking out this um, this expo. Uh, by himself, he's going to uh, then be able to change how pathing works um, when when it's time for the hogs to come in. As the rest of the squad's coming up top here, as I try and keep up with everything. Um, so they're starting up top here. 
Um, really solid stuff. Um, you got to be really careful when you're pulling away from Queen because Queen is not going to be able to deal with the Clan Castle troops. Uh, so he's going to make sure and, and uh, bring in enough wizards there to do the trick in which they just pop him under that rage. Um, nice jump that goes up right there. So the Kill Squad still has some moving to do here. And uh, now that the business is taken care of, he's going to start sending in the Surgical Hogs here. And um, just kind of attacking that oath side of the base right there. He, he doesn't. Uh, he wants to be thin. He doesn't want to be too thin with those hogs. Um, it looks like he. Yep. Yeah, he did have to send a couple back in right there to make sure and get the job done, um, which also corrects the pathing. So, so that's a smart decision. As everything is pushing mid, Queen is still finally pushing bottom. As those uh, the healers are going to be going down here um, to that air defense. Um, but I mean, look at look at the damage that's being done here from the two-sided uh, kill squad attack. Um, finally, it goes down. We do have a healer alive, which is fine, um, and and an extra heal as far as we're concerned over what we do believe would be the bomb spot or at least one. There we go. Very very well done on this attack. That was excellent. Um, everything else is working around the base here. We have the cleanup process going down, and uh, really really nice attack there. Um, sweet job, man. Um, what are we going to jump down to now? We're going to go down to number 16. Um, over to... Um, yeah, Snow's attack here on Quiet. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, here we go. Another uh, another pretty decent looking base here. Maxed out defenses. Uh, not much more you could ask for uh, defensively. Um, some pretty, um, you know, some pretty self-explanatory uh, bomb spots right there, which... Uh, Sometimes you just don't want to bring hogs to a base like that, so he's going to bring that uh, that La Loon, and uh, the Shattered La Loon at that, and um, and we'll call it the Maxed La Loon attack because that is uh, what they're calling it these days. Um, pretty decent job with the kill squad here. Everything's moving forward. Um, a little risky around how those how those uh, buildings path around the outside, but he does get up that uh, poison spell. Looks like it was just a little bit short. Um, so there's a lot of damage right now that this kill squad has to deal with. Um, but everything's moving in just fine, especially under the rage. That was a much needed rage. And um, I, I think he's doing just fine here so far. He does need to get down and prove that he can take care of that other uh, 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 air defense as it's moving there. The king has made it super far at this point. That other defense goes down. And now you know what time it is here, gentlemen. Um, we're sending in those uh, <laughs> those hounds. Going to make it happen with the hounds. Um, and behind it, he's just got uh, two uh, haste spells that he needs to be able to place correctly to uh, make sure things are moving along nicely here. As one of those lavas does bust, um, those loons do have to move backwards just a little bit. Um, but they are able gonna, to catch up here, and uh, there shouldn't be too big of a problem. And so finally, the other one pops is the third uh, and final... Uh, lava's in there now. He's got some Teslas around the outside to deal with. Um, that's always kind of funny. You never know uh, what you're going to be dealing with. <laughs> um, so here we go. Uh, we do have the cluster of balloons, but just a few defenses left. The air defense goes down. Um, the lava has officially uh, popped there. And um, and now it's, uh, it's definitely that cleanup time here at this point. Uh, really nice attack by Snow. Um, he, he's actually pretty new to this La Loon, and he must be liking it. He must be enjoying it right now. Uh, the things that you can do with it, especially when you get the Quake spells in, um, is absolutely excellent. It's super cool to see. Um, we're going to jump all the way down to 29. So now here on 29, um, <laughs> um, Cruising Fusion here is going to be hitting up on Benji. Um Here's another, you know, uh, pretty decent base here. Uh, things are spread out pretty nicely. Um, as he's going to be, uh, he's going to just do a good solid go-ho right here. And I actually think, I think it was a surgical, if I'm not mistaken, uh, to be exact here. But um, that jump spell has got to go up, bring those golems inward. Uh, the outsides uh, have been dealt with, so there's no, no issues regarding uh, uh, pathing at this point. Those final wizards come into... Uh, to take care of the the back side of the kill squad right here and uh, you know golems are looking pretty uh, pretty good for right now given the the circumstances and that's a lot of balloons coming in right there so you got to be really careful on things like that he's getting a couple hogs just to take care of that mortar mortar that's a really smart call um, you got to be able to do that uh, on the outside 
Uh, queen takes care of the other one there on the other side. As now it's now it's time to start thinking about uh, the rest of the attack here. As the jump is up across the core, a smart decision on that jump there. Queen's going to go after that expo, and here comes the hogs. This is actually a two finger drop here. Um, he hangs on to a few hogs, um, but that is a lot of damage coming in right there uh, down the bottom right. So that was a smart heal heal placement. The other one's going to be going somewhere right around where those two. Uh, wizard towers are with that other expo um, you, you got to be able to cover up um, those uh, <laughs> that big damage coming in on on multiple hogs at one time so I think that was a perfect heal um, he's gonna you know he lost a few along the way but is that not what happens uh, in the attack here uh, spring trap kills one that's fine that's totally good uh, queen is still healthy uh, she'll be should be good here for the cleanup and uh, if those hogs can catch up quick enough um, but the hogs did a really good job. Okay, he actually killed the queen. Okay, so um, so there are hogs here for the cleanup. And uh, as we watch the rest of this kind of unfold, um, I think it was just an excellent job here with the cleanup. And he brought just the right comp here to get it done. Uh, super nice job there, cruising. Very, very good. Uh, that was number 29. So this is going to be the last one here on, uh, on the part one. And... Um, a bow here swinging on number 34 and um, he's gonna be bringing a queen walk um, being a fellow clan mate I believe this is his first queen walk that he's trying and uh, just to be very clear this is uh, the purpose of this war is to be able to try new styles of attacks um, bringing new you know three-star strats here to the table and trying to work on uh, hitting bases that uh, that are made to be anti three-star so I think it's a brilliant plan to be able to deal with that and uh, so he's starting that queen out here on the bottom. Smart decision. He broke in here. Um, very, very similar to uh, the other base that we were looking at here. So he's got the two golems coming in up top here. He does need to take care of that queen. Um, so backed up with wizards. Uh, smart decision with that. Um, I think he's eventually going to... Uh, I'm not sure if there was a... Okay, here come the breakers. So here the CC is down now as well. Um... Uh, you know on the field and there are some crazy stuff in there so you got to be able to deal with that here too um, nice little collection of things actually it's really buying a lot of time for them um, as those defenses are kind of working in on you know on the golems and whatnot and he's just going to do the surgical hogs here on the outside um, bits by bits uh, as the there still is a healer alive there to take care of things and that's really smart um, so he does need to kind of take a second get that heal down um, he's not sure what else is on the inside there. Um, that jump is, you know, he's making the best of it. He does have the wizards alive, which are going to benefit from, from the jump as well. Um, little baby golem goes for a ride there. And the rest of the hogs he just kind of feeds in from the outside here. I think the heal may have been a tiny bit early, um, but, uh, but still with just the few defenses that are left, those hogs are going to be able to get in there and do the trick. And on top of everything, he still has this healer alive. Um, he's still able to, um, you know, be able to have enough cleanup troops to get uh, Queen uh, around the base and everything like that. Um, so I think it was a really good job on uh, bringing the right comp to this. I think that's everything when you're hitting a anti three star base. And um, once again, yeah, plenty of cleanup troops. He's got a breaker in the bag right there. Um, sweet, sweet attack. And a level twenty Queen, you know, on a Queen walk is super efficient. It's gonna work just fine. Um, if you have a plan for it, of course. Um, so guys, we're going to switch and do... Um, let's do a live attack here, Mr. Super. Um, we're going to do a live attack here. Fortunately, Super is swinging now, and I just can't refuse uh, the opportunity on trying a... Uh, especially now that it's a it's a Go Valho. Uh, I'm super excited to see this, so let's get this thing going. Um, Alright, so Wizards across the outside right there. Two Golems on the right. Um, they're going to be the tanks as uh, as he's probably going to be trying to break in through at least one of these corridors coming in strong. Um, or Okay, sure, so we have the jump, right? right. Um, good jump choice, by the way, too. That I think that's a really smart thing. Um, so he's hanging on to those Velks. He needs to make sure that he has a plan for the CC. As uh, Wow, that's a lot of skellies, a lot of damage right there coming in. And it is Velk time right now, uh, just because um, everything else is locked on to other targets. Um, he knows by the time those Velks get there, they're going to be ripping things apart and not uh, the target of anything. 
Um, so the queen is still right there too. I And okay, I was going to say, I thought I saw a second jump. Um, much needed second jump right there. Um, so at this point, what he's going to try and do is feed hogs around the outside as those things are tanking there. The Velks are tanking in the middle. Uh, he doesn't need a rage for anything. He's going to be calling this uh, you know, somewhat of a slower attack. Hopefully they take that jump up top there uh, after the defense goes down. Uh, we'll see if they do. It looks like they do. That was really, really well timed. Uh, the only problem at this point is the queen is behind uh, with a couple wizards. And um, he still has so many hogs alive, though. Uh, he's able to bring uh, kind of a surgical style once again around the outside. Take care of those Velks. Um, they should be under that heal. That was perfect. Um, this is becoming a stellar attack as we're seeing this live here. Um, just a few hogs left, which are going to do the trick, it, it appears, with what is left on the field. Uh, that is a lot of damage um, coming in from those couple Teslas. There's all the double bombs right there um, are going to be huge. He's freezing up. We're freezing up. Okay. A couple Teslas to deal with, and does he have enough time? Uh, as the Velks go to the outside right there, um, I would say that he has enough time, but he's got to bust through some walls. He's got to do a little bit of work here. So um, so as things are going forward, I, I pardon me on the dings, you guys. This has been a thing for a while. I can't mute it. Sorry about that. Um, so this is becoming just an excellent attack as the final... Uh, defense goes down. Wow. Nice job, super. All right. What a good job. That was that was a stellar attack. I, I love seeing Velks being used, and to have them being used on an anti-three-star base, too, it is really something special. Um, so we're going to move on here. We're going to get going to... Um, the shirts team, the shirts attacks, and they didn't swing too much up top yet, um, so we'll give them some time. We'll add them in tomorrow, and also the, for the low guys too, we'll we'll try and get them in here. Uh, number sixteen. Um, now this, I, I chose this because look, we got a couple. We have a queen walk here. Obviously, we're starting at the bottom, um, and a really good plan to deal with queen that's in that's away from air defenses. Um, you know, a lot of these anti-three-star bases, you're going to be counting uh, uh, the queen as an air defense. So if you can have, um, you know, three or look at that, all four of those air defenses are are on the on the backside there, uh, opposing queen. And um, so that that was just, I think that's a really smart idea to uh, to bring some dragons to be able to deal with that queen. Uh, dragons under a rage will uh, they'll, they'll kill pretty much anything. Um, th but they won't last for long, so you you got to make a plan around that. Uh, so we're starting here on the bottom. Everything's looking pretty decent. Uh, Queen is going to decide to go in. I'm not sure what the plan was regarding that. It actually looks like the plan was to head to core. Um, I think that's a genius idea. Um, it definitely was part of the plan here, as the DPS is now uh, going down here. Um, so the Queen's able to clean up things little bits at a time. Now with these air defenses, um, now here look at top here, here come the uh, the dragons just to deal with the queen and do just a little extra damage wherever they can. And um, here we go, we got queen down bottom, We got, this is a pretty lively attack right now. Um, he didn't need a, um, let's see here, is that queen, that queen is under attack, She she's getting it pretty hard right now but still able to hold up and get rid of that CC there without an issue. Um, that, that was brilliant actually. Uh, Kingy's just kind of got roaming here on the right. I kind of forgot if he planned on going in or what he kind of wanted to do with it. Um, but the queen's doing fine, and then we're just talking about hogs right now at this point. Uh, Two-finger drop up top here, uh, coming in where he knows they're going to be planning on coming together and getting the benefit of the heal. And, um, and he's still able to be able to tank with the king around the outside there. And the hogs are, are just in, in cluster mode right now. They're, they're ready to do the damage to anything that they're, they're going to be targeting. Um, that, that queen literally won this attack. She, she had dealt with so much on her own uh, that there was no reason to really do anything else uh, or try anything, uh, you know, crazy. Um, other than the attack itself that, that I would say is along the lines of crazy. Uh, what a cool attack here. Um, I love the use of the dragons. I like how you still have enough room to get the hogs in there to do the trick. Um, this is one of those bases, too, that it's not easy to hit. Um, you know, it's it's pretty lopsided and a little bit funky. Um, and with the quake and everything, everything just worked out so well for the queen. So 
Uh, excellent job right there. Uh, we're going to jump down to 18. Jeremy swinging in. Sorry, guys. If I miss your names, um, I apologize so much for that. I'm just trying to get this thing going nice and quickly here. I'll try and do a better job on tomorrow's video when I don't uh, just gotta get off of work and kind of have to rush because I have to work early the next day. Um, so that'll be coming out tomorrow here, guys. So here we go. We, we got a good standard Goho coming in up here. Um, you know, regular kill squad, regular kind of stuff right there. The two golems, uh, three golems, sorry. Um, you know, this is, uh, this is really smart of him to be able to do. Uh, there is a witch in the CC, so you gotta, um, you know, it's gonna be kind of inter interesting to see how everything happens. Um, but with the poison going up, that's, that's not gonna be a problem at all for anything. Um, you know, the witch will go down nice and easy. Um, they're going to make it to the queen with that jump. Um, I think that that's really brilliant because now the king is locked on to queen and is doing the damage and uh, the golems are finally going to take that jump and, and start to be fat in the middle and just bring in hogs in here up on the top and he's going to feed along um, with a nice little uh, nice little heel placement right there. If you go bungeeing away, a couple go on, going on vacation there, um, but really like the golem power in the middle is doing all the tanking for the hogs, um, that's not an issue at all. Um, so you don't need many hogs. I mean, you can let them kind of chip away slowly on everything. Um, the queen is left behind, but um, are there any golems alive? I don't see any golems alive unless, yeah, just little golemites there left. And those hogs are just going to rip across the rest of that base. A uh, few defenses left here. We're going to speed this up. Um, really nice attack here by Jeremy. I thought he did a really good job. Uh, hitting a pretty good anti three star base here that was put together by Cha, and um, and moving on that was a that was a splendid attack right there. Um, let's see number twenty seven. We're gonna jump all the way down here. There's a couple interesting attacks in between, um, but to in the interest of making it uh, five replays of each. Um, here is <laughs> here's a go loon. Um, I I. Honestly, I haven't seen this attack yet, and but I understand how it works. Um, really, really smart decision to have uh, the golems right here, and um, and really what he's going to be doing is since all the air D is so centralized, he's going to take advantage of that. Um, you see a lot of people do like a, um, you know the the loons with uh, hogs or something like that. Well, this is just um, this is an all-out loon fest right here. So he's going to send a couple loons in with the kill squad. He's got the max golem that he's going to be sending in as well with him. Um, so it is kind of like the max strat involved here as well. Um, there is nothing really right now to help out with that. Uh, holy cow, that's a lot of goblins there. <laughs> I remember seeing that, that clan castle on prep day, and I thought that would be interesting. Um... But Dwight says, no, sir, uh, I'm going to get in here and I'm going to do the good damage. Um, there is one golem stuck up on that wall. That's a shame as uh, the kill squad's moving forward very, very fine right now. Uh, lots of power coming in from that king as the king is finally going to deal with the queen uh, under a heal spell. Um, so queen is going to actually, he's, he's got things timed out pretty well. So queen is going to do some damage uh, around the outside here. She's going to pop her ability to be able to take out the uh, archer tower and uh, and then send in some loons here around the outside. So so the loons coming in around the outside, this is uh, like those attacks, like a Golo Wee Wee or something like that, where you see them coming in on the back end. Um, and, and that's the point, too, is if your air defenses are, are centralized, um, there, there is, uh, you're exposing something, you know. Um, so he's got just mass loons right here, and in this theory at this point, um, if you were to take down those outside defenses and all that's left are, are air D's in the middle, uh, anything is going to be able to kill them. Um, and so they're able to overpower all of those air defenses. Um, this attack is over. That's a really, really well done uh, attack by him. And, uh, and, and, you know, by in the experience of scrimming with these guys, I, I've really learned a lot with them in the aspect of you bring whatever it takes for the base. And uh, I'm guessing a lot of these guys do spend a lot of time on these attacks, but you do just simply have to bring what you possibly can. Um, so let's see, that was 27. We're going to hit up, uh, is this the Chupacabra right here? Yeah, this is El Chupacabra, number 41, swinging on number 28 um, on Skizzers or the Shizzers. Um, <laughs> good guy here. Um, so uh, a lot of respect for an attack like this too, because we are 
involving, um, first of all, there's a lava, I believe, in the CC, which he's going to do the uh, the two archer healer strat with that. Um, King is uh, getting just walloped on. Um, but, you know, we're, we're talking about level 12 heroes right now. Um, so that lava is finally going to be pressed over here and, and is eventually going to be locking on to these archers, uh, which will be a never-ending cycle right there. Um, so as this is happening, uh, I apologize, I'm trying to keep up here. Um, so we do have the two golems coming in down bottom here, and um, I think it's a, a smart idea to bring the two golems, of course. Um, there's a lot of damage coming in, so just some wizards to back it up. They're going to be clearing out those outside defenses, uh, which is really smart. You don't need to dedicate any hogs or anything to killing these defenses. Um, you know, the golems will just do as nature it implied, and they're going to tank. And uh, maybe one or two hogs just to kind of fill in, make sure that you're locked onto those defensive structures and doing that damage in time. Uh, Queen's moving forward to kill the uh, to kill the king, and um, so you know at this point everything's moving really slowly. Uh, there still is a lot of the base to go, so he's got to hurry up the queen here a little bit. Queen's gonna make sure and get that. Uh, ooh, there we go. Double bombs are tripped, and it's hog time. Um, Queen's going to get that uh, secure the two star that obviously is going to be happening. Um, these hogs are just filling in along the left side here. Um, he does have a, uh, a giant that he will be, uh, I believe he's going to be using here on the back end of things. Um, a perfectly placed heal as there are a lot of hogs still here on the field. And, uh, and there we go, that giant to tank. Uh, just a couple defenses that are left right there. And a poison spell over, um, over those pesky little uh, traps there. And uh, they didn't quite... They did kill them all. Okay, wonderful. Um, what a splendid attack here. El Chupacabra uh, doing such a wonderful job on getting all these outside... Uh, I mean, he brought enough cleanup. He brought uh, the perfect strat to deal with a base like this. And uh, you got to be able to throw out some respect there for him on, uh, on swinging up on a, on a pretty, pretty solid TH9 right there. Uh, pretty good base, too. I mean, overall, that was, that was impressive. Um, that was number 28, so we're going to do our final attack here, number 36. Now, I think this was, um, I think this was another one of those two, uh, Dragon, yes, yes indeed it was. Um, so once again, bringing a really interesting comp. Here we have a base that, uh, I don't even know what kind of a, what I want to call this base, but I think in, in a way it was really well done because you're forcing them to deal with, um, this, this corner here no matter what, and, uh, sometimes they just aren't super efficient uh, effective ways to get it done um, but bringing two uh, two dragons are gonna do the trick on uh, on something like this now the first one does get uh, ripped on pretty good so the kill squad is gonna have to deal with what's in the CC at this point um, but there's you know there's one witch there for distractions we got plenty of wizards to do the damage here to this dragon finally bring this thing down um, decent heroes um, and so here we do have the dragon who's cleaned up the uh, uh, on the right side, and now we do have the hogs coming in here too in kind of a surgical format. Um, with the defenses all across the outside, um, that's you know that's something that uh, you you do have to have a plan for and bring that surgical style um, and just kind of let them filter in from the outside. Um, so here we go. We have a few hogs here, which is enough to do the trick. And there are actually plenty of hogs alive. On um, that second heal was a lot better than the first one, um, but you know, much love, much love to that. And um, so here we go. We um, the the hogs are all down, and this is such an interesting strat too. Though is now it's based on the on the kill squad that had originally come in, um, but really the kill squad wasn't uh, doing the most tanking in the world. It was those outside defenses. Um, so that leaves the kill squad with uh, plenty of health to get everything done. I mean, I think that was an incredible job. Uh, really good strat that was brought to the table right there. Um, guys, this is this has been awesome. Um, what, a, what a really fun war and an absolute honor and pleasure to be able to fight alongside of uh, three other clans that, um, that really, really deserve really big things here. Um, they're bringing three-star attacks that people haven't even seen yet. And, uh, and, and to be original, you know, to, to kind of lead the way, um, even in a game like Clash of Clans here, um, it's such a, you know, there really is a lot of strategy involved here. And uh, I got so much love for these guys for, for having us aboard and, uh, and teaching us some stuff. And I, I really think uh, we learned a lot about bases, learned a lot about attack styles here so far. 
And um, we're only half over, guys. So tomorrow night, we're coming in with the big the big guy. Probably a little, little bit later tomorrow night, guys. So if you can tune in then, uh, make sure and do that. And uh, in the meantime, <laughs> cheers, you guys. And this is Fallen from OTB, signing off.